Hi everyone, this is Dan from Headmedia.org. I've been trying to do this review for a while now. This is, these are one of my favorite headphones, and I'm not talking about closed headphones, I'm talking about headphones in general. Um, <clears throat> I actually uh, owned them for uh, more than one year, and uh, I'm gonna tell you an interesting fact. Uh, actually, before this I had the Focal Stelia, which I actually enjoyed and loved a lot. The fact is that after I got these headphones, uh, <clears throat> while the Stelia were a little bit more detailed, fast, uh, uh, I just, uh, it was hard to get back to them because these headphones provide the more natural and the more musical experience while also attaining the technicalities that are needed in <clears throat> for this level of uh, um, sound quality. So, and uh, the price. And I would say that what I love about them is that I would say that they're just really good headphones in general. Forget that they're closed. They're just amazing as a headphone. It's not necessarily because it's a closed headphones or open headphones. It's one of my favorite headphones in general because they, <clears throat> they're they kind of a mini elite if you ask me and actually they kind of have the similar technology and similar drivers. Uh, a little bit smaller but similar technology. And I would say that I enjoy them more than Empyrean, for example, um, uh, because uh, they retain a lot of qualities from the Elite themselves. Uh, they do have a kind of a, a different uh, signature than the Elite. They're a little, a little bit more musical with uh, uh, more bass, uh, uh, but uh, uh, and uh, more focused on the mid range, but uh, definitely uh, still really good in terms of technicalities as well. So I would say that <clears throat> what I love them about them is all the spectrum. Uh, for example, let's say the bass. The bass is, it, it goes deep, it's fun. Uh, it's, I don't think it's all uh, overdone. I mean, I, I enjoy this type of uh, sound uh, in general. Uh, they're a little bit tuned on the fun side from this perspective, but don't uh, think that you don't get treble. Yes, you do actually get treble, and there's a, uh, probably a little bit of spike somewhere there, but it's not, uh, it's not at all um, <clears throat> something that um, it takes away from the pleasure of listening to music. Uh, it's uh, quite a um, uh, airy treble with uh, lots, uh, lots of detail, but uh, uh, not necessarily on the bright side. Uh, the mid range it's all where the 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 magic it's at i mean the vocals are for for this from these headphones are amazing you just lose yourself in um, <clears throat> in um, in the music with them and um the fact that you feel the the vocals the the artist we like singing in your ears the, the the textures of the voices are amazing the presence and everything it's something that i really really enjoy from these headphones of course uh, you, you get, uh, from my perspective, I, I heard a lot of people saying that uh, Meze headphones are elite or they, they don't provide a lot of detail, and I, I don't agree with that. I mean, so you, you, get a, uh, you, you get detail, but it's not something that's pushed in your face, right? I've seen a lot of people that uh, actually, uh, uh, when they say detail, they actually get brightness. No, brightness for me is not detail, it will never be detail. Um, uh, it, the detail is uh, in uh, more into for me detail is micro detail with the the uh, the, the micro the the, the ability to um, to uh, focus on very little things in the the sound and you have clarity on each sound each sound each instrument um, and uh, um, uh, this is uh, very good in this department as well. Of course, it's not still a level, for example, in this department, but overall, it gives you enough detail, but it gives you a very pleasurable listening experience in general. The textures also on the mid-range are amazing. I, I love how you feel, the, 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 for example, the body of the cellos, the body of the uh, guitars, and the <coughs> you feel that it's wood or something else. Um, and um, um, also, uh, the imaging is quite good uh, on, on them as well. Of uh, related to engaging sound signature, I feel that they're quite good in this department as well. They, you have more aggressive headphones, you can find more aggressive headphones, but these are uh, they, they they provide this uh, uh, this uh, uh, signature as well, and um, I would say that um, the bass is actually quite punchy. Uh, uh, it uh, it also it is detailed. Uh, also, the instrument in general, uh, you can you get a lot of tactility from them. You get a good dynamic range and a good dy the good dynamics in in general. 
Um, now, I've, a lot of people also said that Elite and these, uh, for example, are not detailed enough or not dynamic enough. And I would say that they did not listen to the, those headphones on properly on proper system. If you get proper amplification for them, I would say that um, uh, you will get the dynamics you you want. Now, of course, it's again not on the aggressive side. Uh, with this headphone, you get the the, the whole experience um, because it's. It's all musical, it's detailed, it's technical, but uh, you can enjoy your sound, your music for without getting tired uh, after a few minutes or hours. And uh, <clears throat> also, for example, in my case, I'm, um, I'm using the Shanling M8 um, for, uh, for pairing with them. I also use it on my big system with uh, both uh, uh, Wave Lite and the uh, AHB2 and also um, topping... Uh, a, a discrete D90 discrete, A90 discrete, uh, but um, and I, I would say that they do scale as well. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you get proper amplification, and uh, I would I would say that in my case I will mostly use balanced, uh, you will get everything you want from a technicality aspect and dynamics as well. So uh, <laughs> I love this headphones. So this another thing to that I, I like about them is the build quality and of course they're meze they're just amazing from this perspective as well um, they're really really comfortable you just forget that in, on your head um, if you if you look at this this is not plastic this is magnesium wrapped in I think it's kind of a leather light le leather and uh, these are le leather as well um, and the overall experience is really really good uh, in terms of build quality and comfort um, also, uh, the sound stage on these headphones are is actually really uh, uh, good for a closed headphone. And actually, I don't feel I listen to a closed headphone. If you ask for me, ask me. Of course, it's not elite level or an open headphone, but they are really well implemented. I don't feel that it's a uh, it's a closed headphone at all. I mean, I really enjoy this headphone in general. And I would say it's hard for me to, for example, in this price tag, it's hard for me to recommend any other headphone closed or open um, and I would say that uh, if you are looking for a headphone that uh, in this price bracket, bracket I think it's around 2000 euros you should definitely try this of course you know I my, my philosophy here is that uh, uh, everybody has a different uh, uh, different uh, taste and uh, uh, if you can listen to something before you buy that's the the best thing you can do you can listen to reviews uh, <laughs> but uh, of course People are different and tastes are different, so um, I would say that this this should be on your test list if you want to buy headphones, especially in this price bracket. And uh, from my perspective, they really punch up. And uh, again, you're gonna kind of getting mini elites, so uh, with a more fun tuning. So yeah, they're they're just uh, amazing. I love them a lot, and uh, I hope you enjoy this review. Uh, stay tuned for uh, for more reviews. Bye.